If you love movies, you're in the right place. Leo Canunis, where am I? Santa Monica Airport, and we're here for Disney's planes. That's right, Dane Cook. Now he's dusty, a crop duster with a fear of heights. Can you imagine? Well, I sat down with Dane, and you don't know what he's gonna say from one sentence to the next. Here he is, wild man, Dane Cook. Check it out. Whoa, wait for me. Dane, thanks for being on the movie interview. Thank you, Leo. As a, as a moviegoer, one of my favorites is Step Brothers. Okay. Okay, so. Adam's, I get a little shout out in Step Brothers. Ad, Adam Scott has this great line. Honey, let's go. <laughs> Dane Cook, pay-per-view, 20 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. As a moviegoer, what's that experience like for you? It's a very strange experience <laughs> because when I'm a moviegoer, I'm not thinking of myself as an entertainer in any way. So it's a little jolting when suddenly somebody says your name and you're like, why, why would this person be mentioning me in this film? Oh, so but it's, it, it's flattering. It's a huge compliment. But in the moment, it's always a, it's happened to me a few times where my names come up. And I was watching The Office one night, mm -hmm. and they threw a little shout out to me. And it's uh, it's strange. It's <laughs> like it, it takes a little getting used to, and then finally you realize, ah, oh, it's really that's a cool shout out. Speaking of strange, <laughs> you're an extremely popular com comic star. So I, I gotta imagine you're in a plane. And a fan has reacted like, oh my god, I'm on the same plane with Dane Cook. And then, and then something happened. Maybe they try to invade your space, they try to get your autograph, or they try to do something because they had you as a captive audience. Has that mm. ever happened? I've definitely sat next to some interesting people over the years. Um, sometimes I fly last minute, so I don't like. I don't care. I'll just jump on a, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Any Dane any, Cook flies commercial. It doesn't. Dane matter. Cook flies commercial. Who cares? There we, is a god. We got to get from a point A to point B, and I'll get next to some interesting people. Usually, I got a hat on, or I got my hoodie, you know, or got my headphones, and then every once in a while, somebody goes, "Hey, wait a second. I, but the most interesting one was I sat down next to a woman. She said, you know, she was very polite. She said, "I don't want to bother you." She said, "But my name is so and so." Was she, she hot? Goes, she was, a, she was a lovely lady. She was a lovely woman. Does that mean hot? And she said, I don't know if I would say that. <laughs> That's your word. <laughs> and then she uh, said, I was at one of your first shows 20 years ago. And uh, she knew the gig. She knew the show. Mm -hmm. She remembered my bits from that evening. And it was so awesome. It was so amazing that she said, you know, I've been following your career ever since. And I was at that first show outside of Boston in whatever, 1992 or whatever, whenever she'd come. I How did you make so ends cool. meet back then in 92? What's that? How did you make ends meet before comedy was paying the bills? Oh, it was easy. Like... I didn't. <laughs> did you? I slept on couches and I did what I had to do to like, I, you know, I would get uh, part-time jobs as I was still traveling to do stand-up. I would work at, uh, I was a dietary aide in a nursing home for a little little bit. I was, uh, I flipped That's pizzas. Sweet, though. Just a little, whatever I could do to make ends meet while I was uh, trying to get on the road and do my thing. Plane, like this one behind you. Yes, ever that's been mine. On, been on, ever been on one of those like rickety Indiana Jones kind of planes from like an island to an island where you were kind of a little bit concerned? Yeah, puddle jumper, they call it. Yeah. Yeah, those are always a little bit weird because they just, you know, any little uh, breeze, you feel like you're in a paper airplane. It's, uh, that's always, uh, you're always a little trepidatious on a plane like that. Do you have any fears as a, an adult? You seem pretty confident now, but there has to be something that scares you in this world. I can't go in the water for sharks, but this is not about me. I don't really, the only thing that I mentioned today, someone asked is I, I just, whenever I'm not being creative with something new, it freaks me out. I like to be working on something new. I'm one of those people I like to roll up the sleeves and whether it's a, a new comedy routine or a film or something like this coming along that I've never, you know, I never partaken in something. Uh, How about bombing? Are you afraid of bombing in front of a live audience anymore? No, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to bomb, actually. It's, it's a new thing once in a while. Dane, thanks so much for the hey, time. Hey, anytime. Thank you, man. Oh, uh, okay, guys. Uh, on second thought... Uh, what? <laughs> oh. You think you'll be okay? Yeah, I think so.